Mr. Heavyweight Boxing Today. Hey, what's up, man? This is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight Boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man, so I am on BoxingScene.com, and it has a little article up right now. Uh, Lou DiBella, he was speaking with Sky Sports, and he was uh, pretty much talking about Deontay Wilder ready to travel for the right deal. Now, the last week here, Dillian White was going back and forth with Deontay Wilder on social media. Dillian White goes at it with everybody on social media, man. <laughs> but um, there's news that came out. Hearn even said this on an IFL TV interview. He said they offered Wilder up to what I think a little more than $3 million, or was it $3 million offer that they made to him? And then, off, and then uh, Wilder responded to that pretty much saying, hey, who the hell are you to... I'm just pretty much um he didn't say this verbatim but pretty much in a nutshell he said who the hell are you guys to dic dictate to me i'm the champion i want seven million dollars and i want the fight to be on my terms all right that was wilder's response to wilder to uh eddie, eddie hearn's offer okay so a lot of people a lot of fans out there think he should take the fight a lot of fans out there like myself kind of scratching our head like what's going on with the stavern situation um, at, at this point, man, I just want to see Wilder just back in the ring. Just from looking at everything, I don't think he's going to get a, a Parker unification fight this year. Seems as if Parker and his team are set and focused on uh, fighting Huey Fury. Huey Fury not only has one fight scheduled for July, uh, fans were letting me know that on Box Rec they have him scheduled for two fights. I'm, I didn't go check, but a lot of fans or a lot of uh, subscribers and boxing fans were just letting me know that... Uh, he has two fights scheduled for July. So the one I know he's scheduled for is the um, on the uh, Copper Box card, and that is July 8th. All right, so whether it's one or two fights in July, it seems as if Parker is focusing on Huey Fury, okay? So I don't think that's going to happen. Luis Ortiz, I would love for that to happen. If that can happen, shit, I'd rather see that fight before Dillian White. I'm not how sure. Uh, I'm not sure if that fight can happen, okay? And like I said, man, I'll be consistent. Unification first. If Wilder can't get any of those, I would love to see Luis Ortiz. Um, if not, let's just take care of the mandatory so this won't be hovering over his head. Because in my opinion, man, the, the mandatory thing, I don't, you know, I'd rather him get it out the way sooner than later. Because I don't want it to hinder a up-and-coming unification fight if, you know, we're going into next year and Parker's available. Or Huey Fury, if he wins the fight. If they're available, then Wilder can't because he has the, you know, mandatory thing. At this point, man, I would like for him to go ahead and take care of that. I actually wanted him to take care of it, shit, because they made the WBC said that uh, they were ordering a a, a purse or they were uh, both teams had to come to an agreement. This was a day after the Gerald Washington fight. The WBC said that Wilder and Stavern need to come to an agreement. Okay, within 30 days. And then that 30 days went by and 60 days went by. 90 days went by. Now we're in 100. It's like, let's just get that shit over with. I thought it should have been over with a while ago. But I know Wilder and his team, at least according to articles that I've read, they were trying to get some type of unification with Parker. Um, and then the shit seemed like it just uh, fell through. So if it's not Stavern, I'm going to be consistent. Like I said, I would like to see the Dillian White fight. Although I don't care too much for what, you know, what goes into these fighters' pockets. I'm, you know, I'm not getting a cut out of it. So, but according to Hearn and, you know, it, it'd be his biggest payday. Um, you know, he can go over there to the UK and get his name buzzing over there. And, uh, you know, if he goes over there and, and sparks Dillian White, you make career high payday and you, you know, get the UK crowd really paying attention to you and uh they're going to want to demand of the, the fight with anthony joshua now joshua got stuff on his plate too man he got the possibility of a klitschko rematch then he got the cure back pull up situation he does hold the w wba title luis ortiz unific you know a U luis ortiz mandatory situation so there's a lot going on man um but let me just read what lou debella had to say man uh, he says, for a major fight or the right opportunity, Deontay has no hesitation to travel as he proved when he was on his way to Russia to fight Alexander Povetkin last year, said DeBella to Sky Sports. We are willing to travel for a big enough event. 
We will come over if the economic situation and the deal made sense. There is not going to be a hesitation to take the biggest fights. He is not going to be scared of off by leaving the country. He has never been scared off by it. Okay, that's what Lou DiBella had to say about his fighter. You know, at this point, man, I'm just tired of the talking. I, I, I just want to see Wilder in, in the ring. So whether it's Stavern, Dillian White, let's just get that out the way, man. Um, just ready to see him back in the ring. Man, he hasn't been in the ring since, what, February? And he was only in there for, what, five rounds with Jared Washington? Uh, so sooner the better for me, man. So, you know, if Don King and Stavern is not going to budge, for this money that Hearn is offering. But it seems like Wilder don't want the three million. He said he wants seven. So if that's the case, let's just get Stavern out the way. It's it's a mandatory. You know what I'm saying? So you'll be knocking your mandatory out the way. So then, you know, uh another title holder can't say, Well, hey, you have a mandatory that might get in the way. Once you get your mandatory out the way, I want unifications. Well shit, I thought a unification takes precedence over mandatories. I guess <laughs> that's a whole nother different video. But yeah, man, Stavern, Dillian White at this point, you could just fucking uh, do a coin toss, man. I just want to see Wilder back in the ring. Uh, Stavern, he's the mandatory. Then you got Dillian White. They're talking about offering $3 million, but it seems like uh, Wilder wants more money than that. And then I've heard Wilder, uh, you know, express his uh, express his feelings about not wanting to fight Stavern again. He just said he has no interest. And that's fine. But the thing is, mandatory though. You know what I mean? So at this point, man, Lou DiBella, Team Wilder, I'm tired of talking myself, man. I just you guys just get a fight signed so I can watch the fight, man. I'm ready to see Deontay Wilder back in the ring. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section about what Lou DiBella had to say. I'm out.